Hey, what's going on guys? In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at a quick and easy three-step method to download fonts from any website that you want to download fonts from using Inspect Element on Safari. If you don't know what Inspect Element is, uh, it's a tool that coders use to pretty much look at the code of websites and you can even temporarily change things on websites with it if you want. But we're not going to be actually going into any coding for this tutorial, so you're not going to have to worry about that. It's just going to be a quick three step method, which the first step will be like downloading the font using inspect element, which is pretty easy to access in inspect element. You don't have to go deep into code or anything. Step two is going to be converting the font type and step three, you're going to install a font. Again, I just want to mention though, uh, this is going to only be able to work on Safari uh, as far as I know anyway. So Safari is only a browser that you can have on Mac. So unfortunately, Windows users probably won't be able to use this tutorial. So yeah, if you're a Windows user, then click off. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, this tutorial is just a really great and easy way to expand your font library and find new fonts if you're browsing around online. I mean, if you like, if Safari is like the browser that you usually use. It's also a nice way to get recognizable fonts from brands that you like instead of having to try and figure out what brand, uh, what font a certain brand is using or something. It's a nice, easy way to go. Okay, well, let me go to their website first, see if they're using the brand. And if not, then I can try and identify it. And sometimes I'll actually be able to get the font just using this technique without having to figure anything out. So anyways, we're going to move on to step one, head over to Safari and go download the font with inspect element. So you can use any website to download fonts from. In this tutorial, I just picked like three recognizable brands that I know will probably have some nice fonts on them. So the first website I picked was Nike here. I'm going to see if I can get any fonts from here. Like this pretty nice looking font right here. This one, uh, that's actually probably Helvetica now that I think about it. I don't know why Helvetica is so fucking recognizable. Anyway, Uber is the second website. Looks like they have some nice fonts here. That'd be nice to add to my library. So I'll see if I can get those. And Spotify is the third website. So when you're on the website you want to take the font from, you're going to want to right click the text that has the font you want to download and then click inspect element. Now this is going to open up all the coding for the website here so you could actually look through the coding of how the website was put together. This looks really confusing and luckily we're not going to actually have to be going through any of this. So Safari actually organizes their inspect element which is why this actually wasn't going to be working on other browsers. They don't organize it the same so it's harder to find the files. But here, Safari puts tabs at the top and the one we're gonna wanna look for is resources or in some Mac operating systems or Safari updates, I believe it also might be called sources. And on the left here, you're going to see there is several different folders and this organizes all the different types of content that's in the code, it organizes it for you. So we can actually click on the fonts folder here and if you click on the files, you can actually see them show up on the main screen here. You can see what the font looks like. And if you click the down arrow or just sort of click through, you can preview the different fonts. So there's actually, I'd say this Nike TG one looks pretty good and Nike Futura looks pretty good. So when you see some fonts you wanna download, you're just gonna just right click right here and then click save file. So now to keep things organized, I would recommend making a folder called web fonts for all the fonts you're gonna download uh, off of websites just to keep your like files uh, more organized so they're not gonna be all over the place and also you can remember where they're saved all the time. Obviously that's up to you, but I'm just gonna save it here. Well, I've already actually saved it, so it's just gonna tell me to replace it because I've already saved it before for the tutorial. But you can just go ahead and save it. We'll do that for Nike Futura and Nike TG Wolf. So now that I'm done with that, I'll just close the inspect element and head over to the next website, Uber. So same thing again, I see that this font looks pretty nice. So I'm gonna right click that, hit inspect element. So it's gonna open up the coding for me. I'm just gonna go back over to the resources tab, go down to the fonts folder and we'll look around here. I think these, actually these three fonts are pretty nice. So I'll go save file, save file again, and I'll save this one. All right, now that I've picked up those fonts, I'm gonna head over to Spotify to see if I can get anything from there. So right click inspect element, and then we're gonna go over to resources tab. You can actually also download images from websites too if you wanted to on the image uh, folder if that's something you want to do but we're going to be getting the fonts right now so it looks like there's the spotify font right there so that one looks pretty nice i'll download that as well so now that we have the fonts files downloaded we need to convert them to ttf files and why we need to do this is because when you download fonts off of a website like this they download as woff files which is pretty much stands for web open font format and that's a file type that is meant to deliver fonts on websites and you can't actually download that into your computer. The two standard font types you need to download into your computer are either TTF, which is true type font, 
or OTF uh, file, which is, stands for only the family, uh, no, uh, stands for open type font. Both those files are actually compatible for both Windows uh, and Mac. So those are the two standard font file types. So all we need to do is pretty much convert the WOFF file into a TTF or OTF. So to convert these files is actually pretty easy. I just go on Google and I look up WOFF to TTF converter. And Cloud Convert has actually usually worked pretty good for me. Uh, I'm not going to like vouch for it, obviously, because I didn't make this website or anything. I don't know, but usually uh, Cloud Convert works fine for me. But see what you can find when you Google it. I just pick the first one that comes up. So I'll just go to Select File and I'm going to upload all the web font files that I just downloaded. And I'm going to convert those. All right, it seems like it only lets you do five at a time, uh, but I already downloaded these anyway, so I'm just doing this to show you guys. But once you have them all ready, you're just gonna click download, or this one actually lets you download all the files at once, which is kind of convenient, so I can download them all. Now you're gonna wanna save these new TTF uh, fonts to a different folder than the web fonts, because these are the ones that are actually gonna be able to install on your computer, not the WOFF files like that you downloaded from websites. So I'm going to save these to a folder called fonts, which I've already made, but you can make one to keep yourself organized too if you'd like and that's going to be it for step two so now that we have the font files converted all we have to do is go ahead and install them so let's go ahead open up the folder where we downloaded the fonts and go over and install them so here we can see our ttf files and this is actually the easiest part all you have to do is really just double click them or i think you can actually highlight all of them and double click them and it's gonna open up four different windows here, however many you had, however many fonts you had. And it's gonna open up this thing that says install font. So you're just gonna go ahead and click install font. Now this opens up Fontbook. So Fontbook is where uh, Mac holds all of its fonts that are on your computer that you can use in different programs, like whatever programs are using the fonts in your computer, like Photoshop, Illustrator, Microsoft Word, anything like that. All those fonts are gonna be sitting in Fontbook. So when it installed, you're gonna see them come up in Fontbook and you can actually organize your fonts by all fonts on the computer that come with it or user fonts which is what I usually like to do because I want to see the fonts I'm downloading online that I specifically chose but here we can actually see that the Nike Futura one came up here so that means that it's installed we'll just go ahead and install the other ones that popped up so now that I've installed all of them I'm just gonna go over into Adobe Illustrator here and test out the fonts and see how they look on some text here so I'm just gonna go back and double check what they're called it was circular Spotify Nike okay so they have like the brand names right in the fonts easy so we'll go over here we'll start off with the Nike Futura one because that one looked pretty cool okay so we can see that it actually worked here so the park visual text here now has the Nike font on it which actually looks really really nice looks pretty dope um I still can't believe this works <laughs> um okay let's see what else so there's the uber one pretty nice font I mean it's not really like it's probably more of like a text font is what it was used for but you know still a nice font to have like just for like body text or things like that and there was also circular Spotify I believe was this one yeah that one looks pretty nice too I think I definitely uh, like the Nike one the most wait a minute did I not install the Nike TG one all right so I just looked and it looks like the Nike TG one actually came up as trade gothic in the font book so yeah there we go that one actually looks pretty nice too so in case any of the fonts actually do come up as a different name they would in your fonts folder as you download them they might come up as a different name in the font book so just double check once you're installing all your fonts see what the names actually are in the font book when they show up then you can just search up that name and you'll be able to find it here you know wherever you're searching your fonts so yeah that's going to be it for this tutorial uh that's just a pretty simple three-step method that you can use to go and download fonts from any website that you want and add them to your font library it's a great way to find fonts that you want from brands or anything like that. So if you're trying to identify fonts from certain brands or you see a brand that's using a font you like, it's a nice way to maybe go get that font without having to have too much hassle of looking into what it's called or, you know, searching through Reddit and seeing if someone can tell you the name of it or something like that. Yeah, if you guys like this tutorial though, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you want to see some more content like this or more tutorials in the future, which I got coming. And you can also leave in the comments any other tutorials you'd like to see in the future or any tutorial ideas you'd like me to cover but that's going to be it for me on this video so i'll see you guys in the next one and thanks for watching bye